another day in paradise aka the goodwill outlet so we're having a whatnot show tonight per usual so we're kind of hoping to just pull some good stuff for whatnot but also i'm finally getting caught up on listing stuff on depop and my pile at home is pretty small so if i could find a little bit of everything per usual that would be absolutely perfect and it's about 12 30 right now so we're gonna try to be here probably like three hours or so and then get home wash that shit, and get it going loaded up it is almost four o'clock so yeah we were there for a few hours i spent 109 dollars and i got a couple like heavier winter jackets like i got a really cool roca wear one and a super cool y2k jennifer jacket that i'm so excited about and like yeah some like heavier stuff like that and you did too right yeah i spent 63 dollars i can't say i think i got that much stuff but like some of them are pretty heavy jackets so yeah well i think i got a really good mix of stuff like both for deep pop and definitely for whatnot tonight i got a couple like just more i don't know i guess the things that have a fan base but like i'm not necessarily that fan base like disney and stuff like that or like band tees even if they're from like h&m sometimes if i'm gonna pay like 50 cents for the band tee and sell it for like five that's still good in my opinion so i just been picking up some stuff like that too but yeah we haven't eaten yet big surprise it's pretty fucking normal for us but i literally am craving a salad hardcore right now so we're gonna go over to Target before we start driving home and I hope they have my favorite one but I'll settle for the buffalo chicken. Let's see what happens. Alright angels, it is the next day now. It's Tuesday. We had our whatnot show last night and I was able to wash anything that was washable and get it loaded into the shop pretty much minutes before the show started. So the pictures I took of the items were pretty whack, but I am going to show you before I put these things in their respectable bags and take them to the post office what we got that already sold. And I'll show you how much they sold for too because I do have those slips. So first we have this Gushers t-shirt 
This one sold to Lyler and they paid $5 for that. That is their only item they bought last night. And then this is what I ended up giving away last night. So I found this little Daiso mirror from the little Japanese dollar stores in the bins. So I thought that'd be a fun little thing to give away. And then I also got this really, really like super bootleg little Louis bag. And I like giving away bags like this because I can't sell them, but people still like them. So it's pretty normal that I do that as a giveaway. And I can't remember who the person was that won this because I don't think they're a regular, but yeah, that was free for them. And then the next thing I have is this really cute denim tote bag. This Nico found and then he passed my way and that sold for $13. That sold to Real Slim Shady, so thank you so much. And here's kind of what the inside looks like. Super duper cute, very like Y2K 90s. So that's a good one. I also sold this little caboodle. This one sold for $5 and it's like in really, really good shape, super glittery. That one sold to Flippin' a House. So thank you Flippin' a House for that. Appreciate all of you guys that always show up and are becoming regulars. This is a bundle that went to Modest Moon. So this is a shirt that's kind of like mall goth style that I threw to Nico. And then yeah, we just loaded it into the shop. That sold for $5. And I also found this plush, which at first when I saw it, I thought it was a scale animal and I got so excited, but it's actually a furry bones, which I think we can all agree is like almost just as cute. It kind of looks like a, a mix between psycho bunny and scale animals. So really precious. And that ended up selling for $13. That's more than I thought. So hell yeah, very exciting. That's a good bundle. Here is another bundle. This one went to Candy, so thank you, Candy. This was actually an item that used to be in my own closet. It's just like a black faux fur scarf. So this isn't something we got at the bins, but it did sell for $10. And then this beautiful little Y2K black dress, actually Jalen passed to me because she decided not to get it. So Jalen, if you're watching, thank you very much for throwing me this dress. And I was a little on the fence about it because I was like, I don't know if I'll be able to like model this very well or like take a flat lay of it, but it went good on whatnot. So Candy bought that for $9. So yeah. All right, next package I have is a small bundle of two. One of them is a item that we just got at the bins yesterday, and the other is an item that I got a couple trips ago, and that is these Iron Fist heels. These ended up selling for $12, which I think was my starting price. And yeah, they're a size six, which they fit um, Ico Kid perfectly. So thank you, Ico Kid, for buying these two items from me. This is a Kiss crop top, and we all agreed that the colors on this crop top are just like pretty phenomenal. So this guy sold for five dollars. Okay next bundle I have here is four items and one of them is from a previous haul and that is this candy wrapper bag. That sold for four dollars. These other three things are this pastel blue rug which I think is like literally brand new so obviously I had to grab that. It's so cute I just don't have anywhere to put it otherwise I would keep it because it's freaking adorable. That sold for eight dollars and they also bought this contrast stitch thermal which sold for seven dollars this thing is really cute too like just like the thumb holes just kind of make it in my opinion so that was a good one for sure and then let's also take a moment for this insane pair of pepe jeans that i found and those i sold for twenty dollars so i am happy that they sold for that honestly but obviously somebody if they took their time could have sold these for a lot more money these are pretty crazy and pepe jeans is pretty trendy right now honestly like not like overly so but i definitely found like some pepe jeans jeans um like shirts even that I think I sold one of them for like $48 it was really cool like it had like crowns on it and stuff but here is some of the details on these jeans it's just like everything about them is just like super cool and crazy like the paint splatter the purple stitching the weird kind of like Halloweeny like barbed wire and then the metal and then obviously the brass knuckles like just crazy so that was a good one for sure. All right, and here's another bundle of two. This one went to Justine, and this is a really cute little like tumbler grunge flannel with a red, gray, and black color scheme. This one sold for $6. And then this Buckwear shirt, when I was trying to like hurry up for the whatnot show, I was like loading Nico and my stuff at the same time. So everything was just like folded in a pile and this was what was on top. And I literally like didn't remember seeing this at the bins 
at all. So I was like, oh, that's one of Nico's shirts. And then I just like was like, that's kind of weird, but whatever. Loaded it in. And then later when Justine um, wanted to see it, I was like saying, Nico, that's your shirt. Find it. And he was like, I have no idea what the f you're talking about. And he's like, that's your shirt. I was like, no, the hell it's not. Why would I grab this? <laughs> And then I completely did not even realize that this is the same shirt because I grabbed this for this reason alone. The whole back of this shirt goes crazy. It says I wear the camel pants in this family and the colors are like, again, so beautiful. So then when I realized that this is the same shirt, then Justine at that point was like, oh my God, there's a backside. And I was like, oh my God, this is the same shirt. And I feel so bad now for <laughs> giving Nico a hard time and making him think that I was like so sure. <laughs> but yeah, literally, like when I saw the front, I was like, um, yeah, I don't know. Why would I grab that? Obviously, like what the f***? I didn't even see the front. So this back is sick though. I gotta say, like if this was the front of the shirt, I think that would be such a cute, like ironic thing to wear if you're like kind of more like gothy, like weird New York style. So whichever way you want to wear it, I'm glad it's going to a good home. This one sold for $5. I think Justine said she was giving this to her cousin or something. So yeah. Good to see it go. I'm glad I grabbed it because I don't know something about this. I was just feeling it. So I'm glad it worked out. Here is a fun bundle if I ever did see one. This one went to a little tiny snail aka Gracie. So thank you Gracie very much for always coming to our shows. I guess I'll start with the little tiny snail because since she was there I was like you know what we actually found one today. Uh, so maybe and then they did want to see it and I was like you do you want it for like a dollar and um, she did. So this little snail is going home. So that's very sweet. Every time me, me and Nico go to the bins, I pick either a stuffed animal or some sort of strange toy and call it our love animal and then force him to bring it home. And then if he doesn't, I get sad. So that's what this is. <laughs> and I'm glad that we are sharing the love with the snail. Next, I sold um, this like Rue 21 duster, which is like sleeveless and it has this like fringe at the bottom. This was actually from a previous show and it's really hard to show off. So it is what it is. But that one sold for five dollars and then this is a pretty like you know standard victoria's secret slip it's black satin with pink kind of like detailing and there's the tag on that one it's like a really really faint pretty pink that one sold for five dollars as well and then this is one of my favorite things i found at the bins actually and i wasn't really sure like what i wanted to sell this for at first so we settled on 30 as the starting price i believe on this and then it actually went up to 34 dollars is what it sold for so a couple people wanted it. I don't blame them. It's super freaking cool. The colors are amazing on it and it's got like just a really cool graphic too and I would have no problem putting this on Depop. Like that'd be a really fun one to model and like all that good stuff but I am glad that I didn't have to do all the extra work that goes along with that and it's like pretty heavy so it's good that it sold for what it did and I'm really happy with that. And then we found another hippo at the bins and literally this one I think is like pretty similar to the one we found at Savers except it has both of its eyes. However, this leg has seen better days, so do with that what you will. However, it has a hip pussy, and we were all having a good laugh over its hip pussy, and my favorite thing during the Whatnot Live that um, Gracie said was, I'm definitely not gonna put drugs in the hip pussy, <laughs> and we all had a good laugh, so um, hell yeah. I think this was probably, we also decided, a noise box, because the last tip that we found at Savers had that noise box too, and yeah, it made like farting noises, and I don't know why, like do hippos just like fart or something or like what like I don't really get it but I like it so this little guy sold for two dollars and thank you Gracie for giving him and the love snail a good loving home. Here is yet another bundle. This one is going to Lisa, so thank you Lisa. This one includes this really like fuzzy like almost 90s Y2K vibe of a jacket. This one's by Relativity. Super cute. That one sold for $10. I actually really liked how this looked on me. I didn't think I would, but once I threw it on I was like damn this thing is cute. And then this is a really cool vintage towel and honestly this looks good on both sides, but yeah definitely like a from the 60s or maybe 70s but that sold for five dollars love that one this is from a previous goodwill outlet haul this was kind of like a fairy core crochet like nymph type scarf with little fringe this one sold for five dollars and then 
This was pretty random, but I found this at the bins too, and it's like a little welcome sign with apples and some flowers. So I thought I'd grab it, and I'm glad somebody wanted it because I thought it was really cute. It definitely looks like the kind of vibe that we used to have like in our house and kitchen. So that one sold for $5. And then this is a shirt that Nico found, and it's a Batman shirt. It says, I like girls that play rough, and it's got Harley Quinn on it. That ended up selling for $9. So that is a cute bundle too, for sure. All right, and here is the last and final bundle as far as what already sold on Whatnot. So this one went to Mary. Thank you, Mary. 64 Hello Kitty, always coming through. So the one thing from the last haul that was purchased this time around was these Miss Me jeans. Those sold for $7. And then also these one, two, three, four, five, six things right here were all from this recent bins trip. So out of these new ones, this Totoro, shirt here the black one that one sold for five dollars has the little sprite guys and stuff and then this one is like flying totoro and that one sold for also five dollars then we have this really cute little like angelic micro mesh long sleeve it's kind of like a mock neck situation and here's the tag on that one that one sold for six dollars this is one that nika found it's a pac-man shirt with some kind of like japanese writing and somebody has bleach dyed it we all decided it looks pretty cool with the bleach and that one ended up selling for five dollars this is a hoodie from the brand teenage and this um i think nika told me as like one of the guys from like workaholics's brand i had no idea i just thought it looked cool so i grabbed it because it's super like flower powery with the little globes and all that good stuff that one sold for eight dollars and then this playboy one was also one of the most sought after items of this live playboy by pax sun it's got a really nice embroidery on the front in green it's got the little gold playboy in the center and this one there was a little bit of a bid war for i think i started it at like nine dollars and it went all the way up to 23 and that's what it sold for that was a really good pickup for sure and i'm happy to get that for it and i'm happy with all the sales we made last night so thank you everyone for joining everything from here on out is going to be all the things that are still available as of this moment that i'm filming all right y'all next up from this haul i have a stack of things that i'm about to bring to buffalo exchange to see if they'll take some of these things i already had briefly in one of our last whatnot shows and there weren't any takers on but some of it i just think it would do better at buffalo exchange so i'll show you those things and kind of tell you why i think that so this first one is a cardigan that is kind of like a cool little like knit style by the brand Chico's and this one is like an olive green with gold kind of throughout batwing style and I like these sequins on it so this is one that I'm not 100% sure Buffalo will take, but they might. So I'm going to see if they will. This rip and dip one, um, again, something that I'm definitely not going to bother listing on Depop. So I got this specifically either for Whatnot or Buffalo. They definitely might take this one. This one's a size medium and it just seems like, you know, a pretty standard thing that somebody will want there. This one is from the brand Blue Blush. That's just kind of like a fast fashion brand, very similar to like Fashion Nova. So the only reason I grabbed this was because I knew Buffalo might take it so we're gonna see how that goes this one is a skirt by mud and it's a cheetah print the only reason I know it's from mud is because of this little button here tags been ripped out so they definitely will probably pass on this one just for that reason alone but we'll see may as well try the next one I have here is just like a really fuzzy black v-neck by the brand Venus and this one is just like good for the season I feel like it's like October you know we're going into colder weather so they might take that one this one I'm not super sure if they will or not. I'm kind of leaning towards they might pass on this one. It is from H&M, but I do like the graphic on it and I think it's pretty dope. So I grabbed this mostly because of whatnot. I was like, it's cute enough. And I like, I like the colors a lot. So that one will be available on whatnot until it sells probably if Buffalo doesn't take it. Then I found these Hot Topic trouser pants. These are a size extra small and they do have this chain over here, which I thought was pretty cool. These are kind of like a tapered leg trouser style. And this is something that I could sell on Depop, but I wouldn't get a lot for it. And I could sell it on whatnot, but I just think it'd be easier to just get rid of it today if I can. This is a skirt from Topshop. Buffalo Exchange takes a lot of Topshop and this is a pretty classic item. Denim mini skirts. Well, this one isn't super mini, but denim skirts and 
general are pretty trendy right now. So I think they will take this probably. This is a little Pink Floyd t-shirt, super modern, size medium. But again, I love the colors on this one. So I grabbed this mostly for whatnot because I know it'll sell eventually on there. But I am gonna just see if Buffalo will take it because um, it didn't sell the last time I did whatnot. So I may as well. This is another one that I grabbed specifically for whatnot. It's a Bay Island Led Zeppelin t-shirt. Please ignore the hair. I am so sorry. This one is like a lint trap. But yeah, Buffalo doesn't really care about that that much because I apologize for it pretty regularly and they're always like, oh, you've seen it all. And I'm like, I know you guys, but still, I would never ship it like this. So it makes me feel bad. But yeah, I'm just going to see if Buffalo will take this because it seems like something they would put in the guys section and they're always needing guys clothes. This I never would have grabbed if it weren't for Buffalo Exchange. This is a little Shein Argyle like vest sweater thing, sweater vest. And this is something I would never waste time listing on Depop. It does look and feel pretty cheap. So if Buffalo doesn't take it, I'll probably try again, honestly, next time I go. And if it doesn't sell there, it'll just sell on whatnot for like a couple bucks. Okay, and here's some of the nicer items that I found at the bins that I'm pretty excited about. I think Nico found this one actually, but it is a free people like poncho kind of situation. Let me see if I can show the whole thing. So that's what it looks like when it's spread out. It's got really pretty colors, super typical free people item. I feel like you could look at this and just assume it's free people without even looking at the tag. It's got big sleeves and yeah, it would kind of fit, you know, like that, like a poncho. So this is one that would do really well probably on Poshmark. I'm not a Posh seller and I don't plan to be. So what I could do is if it doesn't sell at Buffalo, I could definitely list it on like Depop and Mercari and kind of wait. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to try to get rid of it because Free People is a brand that Buffalo will price, you know, higher. Like sometimes they'll price it up to $30 and that would mean $15 in trade for me, which honestly I'm fine with just to get rid of it really quickly. And then this is another Free People piece. This one is a like cute little ribbed sweater with these really cool sleeve details. And this one I think is pretty brand new because it still had the little plastic thing sticking out of it really hard right here, which isn't a spot where I feel like you would keep that if you were gonna wear it. Yeah, this bottom kind of shape is a little strange in my opinion. Like I feel like it'd be cuter if it was just cut straight across. But yeah, it's got a cool little cowl neck kind of situation and these cute little details. So this is another one I feel like Buffalo will take and I just want to get rid of it, so whatever. Okay, Elizabeth and James. This is a pretty good, expensive brand. Definitely, if you find this at the bins, you should definitely grab it. This one is a little more of a summery piece, so I hope Buffalo Exchange will take it because, again, this is something that would do better on Poshmark, but I'm gonna try to get rid of it today, and if that doesn't work, I'll probably try the next time that I go again because <laughs> it really depends on who's working sometimes, you know, who will take what, but yeah, this is a cool little piece for someone. I'm hoping to get if Buffalo took it, maybe, you know, like $14 in trade would be good because this is something they might price up to $30 as well. They probably will do a little less than that, but you know, in that range because this is a piece that probably retailed over $100. This is my little Buffalo Exchange pile and everybody wish me luck. Thanks, Michi. All right, y'all, it's a new day again, but now that I'm back from Buffalo Exchange and selling, I thought it would be convenient and good for you guys to show you what they actually took and then to actually show you too what I decided to buy instead with my trade after what they took from me. So this is everything that I came back home with. And I'm not super surprised about any of these things except for one. This one is the H&M Tiger sweatshirt. This one is the Pink Floyd crop top. The duster with the kind of like sequins on it. The mud skirts, which like I said, I didn't think they would take anyway because the tags cut out. And this is the only one that surprised me actually. The Free People one with the cute little sleeves and the ribbed kind of like mock neck style thing. I don't really know why they didn't take this one. And that's the only one that kind of stumped me a little bit. But as you can see they took almost everything else. They didn't take the Sheen sweater vest, which is definitely a bummer because I was really hoping they would take that, but I don't really care that much. So as you can see, they took like the Elizabeth and James shirt. They took the Free People poncho thing. They took the Harry pet fur covered Led Zeppelin shirts. They took the Maleficent shirts. I can't even think of what else, but as you can see, there's not a ton left. And this is why I sell my less desirable stuff to Buffalo. Look at what I got instead. I got this Juicy Couture bag, which is so freaking cute. This was only $28 and I used trade. So this was probably the cost of them taking, you know, like 
maybe two or three items from me, if that. So this is an awesome trade-up in my opinion because Juicy Couture bags are super desirable right now and I love all the like cool metal hardware on this one. It's metallic silver with all these like really industrial like kind of chains and it has the classic little dog charm. So this is something that's gonna not only drive traffic to my page on Depop, but it's just gonna be like a good money maker too. There's one person trying to sell this exact bag on Mercari right now for over a hundred dollars and I'm probably gonna price mine around like a hundred even. So mine would be the cheapest one available and I also think that it'll get a lot of attention because the picture I take of it will be good. Next up I got these which are like knee-high converse and they have this really cool like glitter details on the sides including a big glitter star. These caught my eye because I know that knee-high converse are on trend right now and I've never seen this style honestly so I started trying to look it up and Nico was able to find a couple sold comps on eBay that sold for over a hundred dollars and this I used trade and these were twenty six dollars. Also these are actually a women's eight a men's six so these will be available also in my Depop and this is also a good thing to drive traffic to my page. Anybody who's kind of like in the emo scene indie sleaze kind of phase right now might be looking for something like this so this definitely is more of like something that fits the aesthetic of my Depop shop and I'd much rather have this in my shop than like five you know little band tees or something like that. Another thing I got is this which is a Y2K era dress that is from the brand Big Flirt. This was $20 and I used trade for it. It's super cute. It's definitely got like Spice Girl vibes. And again, it just fits the aesthetic of my shop way more. Same with this, which I got for $11. Anything with rhinestones, is pretty on trend right now and that's like my whole vibe I'm going for so this is a dress I decided to get and then last but not least I also picked up these Hello Kitty trip pants because one trip pants are really trendy right now two everybody loves Hello Kitty and if you don't love Hello Kitty what the fuck is wrong with you so these were $22 and these are from Dolls Kill which you would think would make them not super desirable but there are people selling these for over $60 so again let's just think for a minute I get to use the word trip pants in my description I get to use the word Hello Kitty and Dolls Kill. Those are three super searchable terms that are going to get people to at least hopefully look at my Depop. Even if they don't want to buy these, it might bring them there. So that is why I bring my less desirable items that I don't want to list to Buffalo Exchange so I can use trade to essentially do a trade and get better inventory for my Depop shop. Now you all better stay tuned because the stuff coming up is the stuff that I saved and deemed the best things which I'm going to be listing on my my Depop. These are things that I wouldn't even consider bringing to Buffalo Exchange at all because I know that I could get my full profit for them myself. So everything coming up after this, you're definitely going to want to see. All right, babes, I'm so excited to show you what we got at the bins that I just spilled my energy drink all over the floor. I hope you're ready for what may go down in history as one of the best good outlet hauls you've ever seen in your life. So without further ado, let me just start with whatever the fuck's on top. Oh, look at here. These absolutely fucking beautiful Miss Me Jean Capris with Angel Wang Secret when back pockets. These are so fucking hot. I wanted them to fit me so bad, but I did try them on yesterday or the day before, and sadly, they're just a little too tight, which I guess is probably good for one of you guys, because I know somebody is going to want these really bad, and I wish that person could have been me, but I should be able to get at least like 40 or more dollars for these, so I'm pretty excited. I'll start off with this one here. It is a, how do you say it? Pele Pele? Pel Pel? I don't even know. Uh, the homie Gavin actually found this one. He passed it off to me. I kind of know why now honestly because there's a, a broken zipper it still does work it just doesn't have the pull tab so i just have a little paper clip in there right now i will have to try to figure something out i mean these jackets go for like hundreds of dollars like look at how insane all those rhinestones are so i'll fix it and i'll sell it bling bling all right next up i have another pair of jeans these also have some pretty cool pockets on the back these are re-rock for express but i mostly got these because of the flare at the bottom flare jeans are probably the most trendy style of denim them right now so it's kind of a double whammy if you can get one with a really cool back pocket like these have and these are a size eight right next up i have this harley davidson like work shirt it is a little bit faded in some spots but i think it's cool enough it is a bahamas look at that crazy embroidery patch it's got this little flag on the sleeve and it is old Official. All right, next I have this super cute little rhinestone covered angel wing back, little baby tee. This is super duper like Mogoth, 
like mid 2000s scene core. I would definitely wear this. This one is a size small and I hope to have this on my Depop soon. I'll probably list this for about $30 at first. I found this and got pretty excited. It is Extreme Couture, and that is kind of like a, I feel like Affliction kind of like yeah. spinoff. Cool. It is made, I believe it was a collaboration with like some MMA kind of stuff. So yeah, really cool. There is a stain on the front, so I'm gonna have to oxyclean it. I've never oxycleaned something with like this metallic stuff, so I hope that all turns out good. But yeah, I was really excited to find this one. Here's Another Mogoth gem that I found. This is the back side, which I do think is the cuter side of the two. This one has a really cool little cross with also a angel wing design. It's kind of like the Holy Trinity. It's got the rhinestones, the cross, the wings. And then the front side is this kind of a pattern. And the only thing that's kind of wonky here is that this little rhinestone, I think, is like where it should be. And this one is kind of detached. But aside from that, it's a super cute t-shirt. And this one I'll probably list for around like $28 for starters. Fun this Mark Echo shirt. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you can tell right now, but it's like puff print kind of raised. Here it is so you can actually see what it looks like. My bad. But yeah, uh, Echo's one of those brands where it's like kind of borderline. Should I pick it up? Should I not? It's got to have a cool graphic. It's kind of along that family of like 2000s, like kind of hip hop, hoppy kind of stuff. There's a tag, size <laughs> medium. Next, I found this Paul Frank little rave beanie, which when I saw this, the first thing I thought of was Luke Blobad on TikTok, which I absolutely love. And baby, you should look him up because you'll see exactly what I mean. <laughs> okay. He usually wears like Minions themed stuff and mm. like really ugly like mid 2000s shirts that are just like just hideous, but like he pulls it off and he's like got that vibe. This is exactly the kind of thing he would wear. So this one's actually already in my Depop and I think I priced this at like 25 plus shipping. But yeah, so freaking cute. I absolutely love the little tassel. The only thing that could be better is if it still had the little danglers here, which I, I think it was supposed to originally have but somebody chopped him off. What a bitch. It's still cute though. Found this really cool like neon colored fox racing times monster hoodie. I found a few of these kind of hoodies before and this is by far like the, I don't know, craziest colored one. Uh, usually they're a zip up with a big patch. I have one in OxyClean right now. This one has a stain somewhere on the front here. Yeah, kind of like right here. But with the colorway, Vince pricing, I will toothbrush that little thing and try to get that out of there. Next thing I found is this super cool little like almost like fairy core. Mogoth style Harley Davidson zip hoodie. This one has a really cool all over print front and back and has this almost like tie dye running through it. It's also kind of like a thermal material. So this one is a size medium and I think this will be a really good one for Depop as well. I'll probably price this one at $30 for starters. I was also really excited when I found this one. Oh yeah, that is Mogoth Depop gold right there. Mm -hmm. That one, it's got the flaming eight ball on both sides sleeves. I actually had that up on Depop already because we've waited so long to do this haul. And let me tell you, I don't perform like crazy well with likes and stuff. And this one already has like 42 likes. Damn. So, you know, it's popping off. They it's must a hot be commodity. They must be having it in people's like uh, DNAs or whatever they call it now. There's the tag Bullhead, which I can't really find anything about this brand, but who cares what brand it is? It's dope. Okay, I was so excited when I found these and I, <laughs> I didn't even realize that they were like actually like old like 2000s era valentines, but they are. So that's like amazing. If there's one thing I love, it's like weird old valentines. Like I have so many that I've kept over the years and my favorite one that I have on hand right now is um, the Simpsons ones that I thrifted like forever ago. But I found freaking Hello Kitty from like I think 2004 and these are all the cutest ever. Like this is before valentines just like tanked. Like I swear to God now you go into Target, valentines just suck now. I don't know what it is, but it, it's just so tragic. I also found these Bratz ones, which oh, is like yeah. the second best one you could possibly find, I feel like, after Hello Kitty. And these are also, I think, um, these are 2003. So yeah, that is awesome. And then I also found Finding Nemo, which is like less exciting, but still cute. And those also were with these, which are kind of fun. It's kind of like a little treat bag. Okay. I think what I'm going to do with these is when Valentine's Day comes around, I'm going to use these as my goodie bags for people's packages, kind of like how right now I'm using like the Halloween ones and the sparkly ones so these i'll probably just use these i'll sell those i'm gonna have to hang on to for a little bit 
I feel weirdly attached to them and I know that I couldn't get like a lot of money for them. So like, I just want to savor the moment. I feel that. Since we're showing off some other random stuff, I found, I think I found two of these and then she found one of them, but it's these Shonen Jump. If you don't know what these are, it is kind of like how Naruto and a bunch of other mangas are presented in America. They still do it kind of like the back way. I don't back know. Back to front? Back to front. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I got three of those, and that's pretty exciting because these are these are sick. And then there is the last one, bleach. Okay, one of my superpowers is walking into the bins and finding the best purse you ever could find for Depop that has just been chilling there for probably all day that nobody wanted. So this is one. This one is a camouflage, like conceal carry style bag with a super blinged out belt buckle. I mean, these are like super trendy right now, and I know a lot of people don't know that especially probably resellers um but if they don't soon they will and by that time maybe everybody will be over it but for right now you can easily get usually like around 50 dollars or more for a bag like this this one i think is gonna be even more desirable to people because it's got the pink with the real tree i mean this one's like kind of got it all going for it and this one i think i should be able to again definitely get like Probably like 55 or so, I want to say. It'll kind of depend, but this is also a really good one because this has that Juicy Couture vibe about it, but in a Mogoth way. It just says love, family, believe, stuff like that over and over again. But it's in this really cool old English style font on fabric with kind of like the faux alligator, which is also super trendy with purses right now. So... God damn, like I just love finding those purses because I know nobody else wants them. But when I see them, I'm like, oh yes, God bless. Well, I didn't get any purses, but I got this weird thing. I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, that this is like a weird case to fit like a six to 12 pack of Budweiser. I don't Seems know this right. to be true. <laughs> I thought it was for a golf club at first, but this is not long enough for a golf club. And it seems like kind of lined in there, so it won't like soak through. I don't know, I had to get it. Somebody threw this back and I, I couldn't let this get thrown That's in cool. the trash. This is a party. I like it. Okay, this next thing I decided that I want to keep, at least for a while, because they <laughs> are like super indie sleeves, like American Apparel vibes. Silver metallic leggings. These are from the brand Soho Girls, which I think might be actually the same brand as I have these in like booty short form. I'm pretty sure. So, you know, I think these will come in handy at least once or twice. Who knows? I'm just gonna see what happens and keep them on deck. My chemical romance. I mean, what more could you ask for from the bins? I don't know what year this is from. I know it's from uh, not the earliest albums. I don't really know, but it does have this Pacific tag, if you can even see that. It's kind of crumpled up. Size XL. I already took pictures of this. I still need to list it. Coming soon, baby. Okay, this next one, I'm pretty sure Nico found. It's, it's just from <laughs> Uniqlo, but oh my God, how freaking cute is this cinnamon roll baby tea? It does have a little tiny stain, which isn't very noticeable, but God, how freaking precious, which ironically, this is one of my Halloween costumes this year. I'm gonna be cinnamon roll, the long-eared wonder pup. So, and I'm not gonna wear this t-shirt. I'm gonna have a much more elaborate outfit, but still, how freaking cute! I absolutely love this one. This one's on my Depop already, and I also have it as a buy it now on whatnot. All right, I got this. I would say Malgoth kind of style. It is an Animal Planet hoodie. This uh, is getting a decent amount of likes as well. Brown, it's got the gold foil, so that's really dope. Two lions and roses with thorns. Could it get better than that? <laughs> okay, next one I have is also very Mogoth, tribal, mid-2000s skater boy vibes. It is this little dragon t-shirt. This probably is a little boy's shirt, um, but here's the tag. It's a uh, boom, boom. And this one I also have on Depop currently, which I think I priced at around like $28 or so. But yeah, just freaking precious. I mean, it would definitely fit me and it looks good with what I'm wearing right now. Just imagine it with like a little, you know, white long sleeve underneath and some baggy ass rave pants and that would be a whole vibe. All right, she found this one, which is really sick. It's this Kuji hoodie. Definitely not like the classic Kuji style that you think of. I've been but... finding so much Kuji lately. Yeah, she just found another one like the last time we were there that was like a shirt. Yeah, that one's not in this pile. It's on whatnot right now. Nice. 
for later tonight. I love this font style on the back, just super dope. And this is like, honestly, super heavy. It is a triple XL, but it's almost like a jacket hoodie, a shacket, is that what they call them? But here is like, kind of got that lining on the inside, has this really cool pull tab that's like rainbowy. So check it out on my Depop, it's listed right now. Could be yours. Okay, this is probably the best thing I got in this entire haul, and it's the thing that I'm probably the most excited for, and it's probably gonna get me the most money. It's a Y2K era Jenny Fur little Penny Lane trench coat. It does have a couple little like water stains right here, but I'm gonna try to work those out. It's like black with like a beige faux fur trim. I'll try to put it on just so you guys can like see the whole vision because this really is quite a gem. Freaking adorable. Oh my god. This is gonna do really well in Depop for sure. I mean these kinds of jackets are always trendy when it comes to winter. So I found it at the perfect time. But also it's like true Y2K. It's not a remake. It's the real deal. So this one I could definitely get $100 for. And I might list it for higher than that for starters and just see if I get any offers or whatever. But I think that's a good starting place for this one. Right. Jackets with oh, a no. little <laughs> jackets with a little bit of Sherpa going on here. I found this oh, Route 66 uh, denim here, which I believe is more like a Y2K kind of 90s-ish brand. There is a tag. It's Arizona, not Route 66. I am insane. But yeah, there's the Arizona Jeans Company uh, XXL. This one I actually put on Depop already as well. The Sherpa is not like crazy quality. You can kind of see the netting in there, but still a good jacket for the season. All right, y'all, I have another absolute banger of a jacket here. This one is also gonna fetch me a pretty penny on Depop. This one is a Roka wear, and it's like a super cool, like, puffer style, and it's like, I don't know, is vinyl the right word for this? It's very, like, you know, shiny like and that. stuff, and then has this faux fur trim on the hood. I gotta throw this one on, too, because... Do it, do it. Like, literally, it's just amazing, and I need to see what the vibe is all about. This one is a size XL for reference, so it's gonna be a little oversized on me which I like it's oh like yeah nice length on you though oh yeah that's sexy as fuck this is very yeah. like baby fat energy which I feel like Roka wear is just like one step away from baby fat basically so yeah I would wear the shit out of this I actually have an Ed Hardy puffer jacket coming in the mail right now that I'm super excited to show you guys but this would be a close second if I didn't have that one coming I would just keep this I have to wear that a couple times. I know, it's dope. This one is really crazy, actually. I love it. It's got this guy on the block with this crazy dog. Look at that guy. It's giving mid-2000s homies. It's definitely giving homies. This is sick. Um, It was just sitting in a bin, kind of like when we got there, actually. And I think I know why. It's got some stains on it. It looks like... Someone was running from the police and got caught on a fence with this thing. There's like holes up here. It's got stories to tell. But if these linens could talk, you know what I mean? <laughs> Here's the tag. Chite? I don't know what that is. XXL. <laughs> but yeah, I was really stoked on that one. Hell yeah. Brings me back. Um, Nico found me this fucking teddy bear backpack. Woo! -wee. It's got a couple problems, but I think we could overlook those problems for how cute it is. And like, obviously I'm gonna sell this one because I already have two teddy bear backpacks, but somebody's gonna for sure freak out over this. Ooh, you know what else I could do is I could give this away on whatnot or something. That'd be a big deal. That would be a big deal. Or I could use it as like a raffle. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But yeah, he's got a couple, like the zipper is missing its zipper pull and it's got a little hole kind of like on the back right here. But other than that, my God, is he charming. Found this right. Rhyme Sayers hoodie, which if you don't know, Rhyme Sayers is actually like a record label that was started here in Minneapolis. When I found it, it was inside out and all I saw was the Rhyme Sayers tag and I grabbed it. I waited a long time to flip it inside out. I was like, Ooh, be an MF Doom, be an atmosphere, <laughs> be like a, even Aesop Rock I would take, but you know, this is still cool. All those people were on the label, so somebody is definitely gonna want this. It is an XL, and I was starting to take pictures of it earlier, but I needed a wind roller, so it'll be coming soon. All right, these I had to cop. These are freaking <laughs> super dope little cyber ski goggles, and these are from the brand, I think it said like Scott or something? Yeah, Scott. Um, They literally be selling this type of shit on Dolls Kill in the rave section, and I'm always like, oh, I love those. 
goggles. And I'm like, they're literally just ski goggles. Yeah. And I actually saw like recently on Mercari, a pair of Juicy Couture ski goggles mm -hmm. that somebody had sniped for like so cheap and God, I would have killed for those. So I was like, you know what? I actually kind of think these would do fine in my shop just because it kind of fits the aesthetic. So I'm gonna see how they go. And if somebody doesn't want them for the rave aesthetic, then they might want them on Mercari for the normal snowboarder aesthetic. So <laughs> I think either way it's a win because they probably okay. cost me a dollar. Next up, I have this Bruce Springsteen band. I was actually pretty excited about this because like for a while I wasn't finding that much good stuff. I was like, you know what? A band tour t-shirt, I will take it. 1999, I know Bruce Springsteen's got some diehard fans out there. So yeah, I actually just took pictures of this as well. So it will be up on Depop shortly. It is on this all sport tag size XL. Okay, this one is so freaking darling. It's a Urban Outfitters thermal and it's got this little floral print running throughout with buttons. And this one, I'm just like, I would probably wear it, but I don't know how much. So I might wear it like once and then sell it. I'm not really sure, but it's just precious and I just love looking at it. So when I do list it, I'll probably shoot for like, I don't know, 26 or so, cause it's just Urban Outfitters, but oh, how precious. I was also excited to find this Metallica shirt. It's nothing vintage or anything. I just really like the print on it. So this will be going up on Depop. Very sick. It's like a push head design, which are always really cool. Look at that. Wow, wow. This is a size medium. That will be up for you shortly. All right, next I found this adorable little pink camouflage windbreaker which I'm sure you guys know if you've been watching, I've been like super into camouflage for the last like year plus. And I think what I'm even more into right now is probably the pink camouflage. This matches my Von Dutch hat that Maggie just sent me, which I'm freaking obsessed with. So I have to take like a cool little, I just whack myself with the drawstring. Uh, oh. I have to take a cute little try on picture with that outfit on, hopefully. Oh my God, I did it again. Baby. Well, I'm gonna kill myself. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I don't know what size this is. This uh, XL looks like and the brand is Flirtitude. But Flirtitude. Yeah, absolutely darling. And camouflage, it's one of those patterns where when you see it, that's what you think of is like trashy Y2K. So absolutely love. This is another one that was sitting in like a weird bin that somebody must have thrown back. It was sitting in like the hard goods. But the darkness, I believe in a thing called love. Hello. Sick. It's on that old school cinder block tag. So it's like definitely from that era. Dress accordingly, it says. Uh, the back is interesting. It's got like their stage plan on it. I don't know like how big this band ever got. That's literally the only song that I know. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, just kind of a smaller size. It's probably like a smaller or medium. I'll throw that up on D pop and see what happens. All right, next I have a super cool pair of Y2K denim. These are from the brand Blue Asphalt. And I think we can all agree that this little raw ham at the top is just like so perfect. And I really like the like a stitch kind of like line running through the middle here. And they also have a pretty cool bottom. I think these will do really good on Depop because these are definitely like a very like a true Y2K era pants and they just have that look about them. So not to mention how cute the tag is. I'm not sure what size these are, but I'll probably list these for around $30 or more. Might as well show off a pair of pants too. The homie Kale came through and handed these to me. Shout out Kale. I guess he thought these were more of uh, my shop's aesthetic, which I guess it probably is. They are the brand Cool. Very cool denim. But yeah, they have these spider webs in the pocket, like lightning bolts coming down, these eyes, a barbed wire heart, a mace, some metal writing you know they kind of got all the edgy kind of things that you could ever want so get those up on depop i'm sure otherwise whatnot because it's honestly kind of hard to take pictures well of pants it does suck yeah it's one of my least favorite things to take pictures of, mm. unless they're really cool. I found this precious little scarf. This definitely looks like something that I would have bought from Shopco when I was like, probably like 15 or 14 years old. I was super into buying like winter accessories and a lot of them, like, I don't even remember what brands they were, but they were just, just exactly this like material. This one's actually a little bit mohair, which is really cool. And it's from Christopher and Banks, but this color scheme is just like super cool. I like all the different like shades of green it has. So 
so this one is just kind of like a nostalgic little pickup for me but yeah it's definitely like 2000s and it's the right season to be looking for stuff like that oh yeah i like those colors mm -hmm. i found this which i don't really know much about it's the brand montclair if that's how you say it i don't know if it's authentic or not i'm gonna bring it to buffalo and let them be the judge this is the tag of it the inside tags were snipped which you know isn't necessarily a great sign it's kind of like what that shows like if anybody knows more about it in the comments let me know mm -hmm. this is kind of the shape of it has that spell out and then it kind of has these like slits on the side it feels like wool or mohair or something i wish the inside tag was still there because it still feels pretty quality there's another jacket that i found this one is a little on the fence about because it needs to be lint rolled really bad so just pretend it isn't covered in weird debris but this one's from the brand pell studio and it's an xl but again this is just really good for the season we're going into and it's definitely got that like y2k energy so i figured i definitely won't be losing money on it i mean i got it from the bins i'm sure it's a little heavy but i can't have paid more than probably like three or four dollars for it so i'm gonna clean it up get it listed do a cute little try on or something and I should be able to get at least $30 for it I would think. Grab this Christian Dior tie. I've grabbed a couple of these in my lifetime. They're <laughs> sitting somewhere, not listed. I was pretty on the fence about grabbing this but it's a pretty neutral colorway. If I need to wear a tie maybe I'll wear it. Uh, I will eventually list it. Probably on eBay would seem like the best place. Honestly how much do you really get for a tie? Probably like $15 or something but Dior in the bins. You gotta grab it. I don't even care what it is. I'm grabbing it. I found another one of these classic little satin robes which I am always into. I still have a couple of these in my closet even though I've sold a few. So I'll just model this one for funsies because it's such a cute color scheme oh it looks so good with my hat oh, that one's cool these are so good for not only lounging around the house but i mean you could definitely wear something really cute underneath like a slip dress and wear this out i've done it numerous times especially in the summertime but yeah this one actually has a tie which is so hard to come by i feel like i literally find these in the bins without ties way more often than not so the fact that this has one that's a definitely a come up next up i have the is Nike swim trunks, which it's not really the season for, but these were just so dope. Like these blue flames, it's got that check right on the back, almost like a little tramp stamp or something. It says these are a size XL. Not sure the era of this tag. Again, let me know in the comments if you know, but it looks like a, you know, Y2K kind of print. So had to grab it. <laughs> I found this adorable little free people like utility style jacket, which I don't know which era this free people tag is from. I don't really remember seeing this one hmm. like anytime recently. If I had to guess, I would say like 2012 because that's when the type of studs were popular the like pyramid studs and like the little star so that's just a guess but i think this one considering that indie sleeves is officially back i think should be good on probably mercari this will sell but i'm also gonna put on depop and if they didn't take it i mean if it didn't sell then i'm sure buffalo would take it i just chose not to bring it there because i actually really like this one and it's kind of the aesthetic of my shop so i'm gonna see how that one does found this dragon ball z kind of like baby tea which <sighs> It's gonna be hard. I'm either gonna have to have her model it or just put it on whatnot. <laughs> I'll model it. And the story with this, I have no idea. It, I don't know if it's homemade or something, but literally the print on the front and the back are both upside down. Mm. So I don't know if that was a conscious choice of the designer of this or not. But yeah, you got all the characters on there, literally. So I had to grab it. Just nostalgic for me. And I thought it was cute enough that some somebody should wear this as a little baby tay. All right, next up, Nico found me this mini skirt it's from the brand teacher's pet and it is a super cool little gothic piece that is also pretty trendy right now it feels a little cheap but honestly i think it's like you know just like a normal kind of texture for this kind of skirt so it has this kind of like lace underlay down here but yeah a fun little piece for sure especially for fall a modern motley crew shirt why not. I don't remember if I put this on whatnot or not, but this one will do, you know, decent on Mercari or Depop, so why not? It was in good condition, and Motley Crew always in style. Shouts out Tommy Lee. I will say we have a pretty much foolproof sell-through rate on whatnot of having band shirts. Oh yeah. Like... That's what I mean. If it, if I don't feel like listing it, that one will go on whatnot, and it'll sell. Yeah. Like, if you do whatnot, like, definitely, like, no matter how modern a band shirt is, I would say pick it up. 
because somebody out there likes that band and they don't care. And if you sell it on whatnot, you don't have to worry about like all the effort that goes into listing it just to yeah. make a quick five bucks. I'll take a quick five bucks and whatnot any day. Hell yeah. So the next one I have is this Moda International top, which is also Y2K era. This one is a really nice material, I think. Yeah, it's like 55% wool and it's kind of like off the shoulder and it has these really cool sequins. So this one is like really good for like holiday season, like New Year's Eve. I'm definitely going to try to take a really cute try on photo in this one and then get it listed as soon as I can. I grabbed this book, Kim Gordon, Girl in a Band. She is from the band Sonic Youth. I plan on reading it. Do I have a lot of time to read and way too many books already? Yes, but I mean, come on. I want to find time to read it. If not, maybe whatnot or something. Shouts out, Kim Gordon. All right, next I have another really cool pair of denim. These ones are Bongo and these are a really nice dark wash and they have a really nice like boot cut slash flare at the bottom. Um, these are a size nine. And yeah, I also really like the back pocket details with this really cool orange stitching as well. So these ones should do good on Depop. And again, I'll probably list these for like 30 at starters. I also got these LEI jeans because I really love, again, the wash on these. It's really unique. It's kind of like a striping of like gray and white. And these have a really nice flare at the bottom as well. And here is the tag on those because that's all Always fun and the one on the back pocket as well. Very nice. This is my last item. It's been so long since the haul that I might have other items somewhere random, but for time's sake, this is my last item. This was the last thing I got actually that day, uh, kind of when I was doing a lap of everyone's throwbacks. This is a vintage Sears The Men's Store. Just like nice light brown corduroy, tan some may call it. These front pockets, there are a bunch of stains, <laughs> like little pocket rips. So you know what? I've been wearing this. I like it a lot. I like the colorway, so why not? If you can find something that you like at the bins, like more power to you, wear it. Who cares? All right, this next one, um, Jalen threw to me, and it is missing a button, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but it's still super cool. This is like a velvet blazer with this like gothic Fleur de Lis back style, and then on the front, it has two panels of the same thing as well. It is missing one of the buttons up here, I think. I think right in this area somewhere. Or am I, I crazy? I think it is missing no? a button. It's only a two button little really? blazer type of look. Yeah. Really? Really? Mm -hmm. You're totally fine. There's no button missing on that. Damn. Well, what do you know? Well, hell yeah, baby. Yeah, this string really fooled me up here. But yeah, I guess it's just the two two button blazer. Hell yeah. Well, that's even more exciting. That one I'll do good on Depop for sure. Okay, I just have a couple more things, but they're all pretty dope in their own way. This is actually the second time I've found this exact piece at the bins, mm. and I sold the first one on Whatnot for just a couple bucks. And this one, hopefully I will also sell on Whatnot. This one's a size small. I love that color of pink. So that's always good. And then this one is a little more complicated. Nico had to show me how to even like hold it up properly, but this is also a little Victoria's Secret camisole. And that one I'm gonna try to sell and whatnot also. And this is kind of more like something that I used to pick up and I usually don't anymore, but I love the colors on it. It's kind of like a maximalist jacket. It's like patchwork style, which I wouldn't say is in its like peak trendiness right now, but that one always comes in and out, so. I thought this was good to grab. It's a size 14 and it's from the brand Corette Petites. True vintage, very nice. And then this one is a cool little Maurice's piece. And this is definitely very like mid 2000s, kind of like 2012-ish era, I would say. With this, like this was very popular during that time, but the sleeves are really cool on this one. It's like velvet with lots of rhinestones. And this one's a size two, but this might be their plus size line actually, because it's quite big. I think it's definitely like the measurements of an XL are bigger. Oh yeah, the pit's, so. a pit's pretty big. On that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this would be their plus size line, and that's why it's called a two, kind of like how Tora does their sizing. So, yeah, that one I'm either gonna sell on Whatnot or Depop. We'll see. But yeah. I hope you guys like that haul. I'm just like super thrilled and excited to get it all listed as fast as I can. But if you want to reach out to us directly, 
to get something before it is listed, you can always let us know on our Instagrams. Mine is one sick kitten with all letters and his is 1-800-GHOST-DANCE. And if you want to buy it directly on Depop, you can always message me on there. Mine is one sick kitten with the number one and his is 1-800-GHOST-DANCE. And if you want to hang out with us live on whatnot and shop our goodies, make sure you use my code in the description of every video to sign up, get $10 off your first purchase and hang out and shop with us. We would love to see you there. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and watch the ads. Love you.